Hey, Luma is here. This is a three pack, okay? This is a surround Wi Fi system, it's a mesh network. Uh, this means they're going to give you Wi Fi everywhere in your house. That's the goal, right? So, this is a three pack. They make a one pack, and uh, the claim here is that it's going to be fast, it's going to be safe, and secure. So let's open up this uh, box and get started. All right, here we go. Meet Luma. Awesome. There they are. There's the three devices you're going to place throughout your house that give you the Wi-Fi coverage that you've been long awaiting for. It's going to be awesome. Luma's actually set up through an iOS or Android app. So get that downloaded and we'll get started. Also, make sure you keep track of your power supply and Ethernet cable because we're going to need those. The app will want you to create an account, so do that, and then we can start setting up your Lumas. I've got the three Lumas, so I've selected that. And uh, next it's going to ask me to make sure I have everything I need to get started. Luma wants to know what kind of home you have. Is it apartment, townhouse, how many floors? Also, what floor is your modem on? That's for your ISP, your, basically your broadband modem. Where is the modem located within the house on that first or second floor? Go ahead and name your Wi-Fi network and enter a password. Now we'll connect your uh, first Luma to the broadband modem. Uh, just the Ethernet cable here, no power cable yet. So go ahead and put, put it from the in port on the Luma to one of your switch ports on your cable modem. And uh, it doesn't matter which one. I happen to have one open, so I used it. And it doesn't matter. But we're not powering it up yet, so hold on. Now back to the app. Now you bring power to Luma. And we'll go ahead and get the... Uh, Luma fired up here. At this point, Luma's going to spin blue for a little bit, and we can go back to the app, and, and it's going to tell us that we're waiting for a solid blue light, and that's when it's ready. And it'll also ask you to uh, pick a name for this Luma. This one's in the garage. And then next, we're going to actually restart the cable modem um, simply by unplugging the power and plugging it back in. So uh, that's what I'm doing here in this next step. This is not an AT&T U-verse promotion. But fiber channel to the house is pretty fast. So here we are restarting the modem and then uh, waiting for broadband to come back up. And you can see that Luma goes solid blue at this point. So now that Luma is solid blue, we go back to the app and we can now start the Wi-Fi. And this will get everything going. And what we're looking for here is a flashing green and then it'll go dark and at that point we are ready to go the Luma is up and running and now we can move on to the next Lumas so let's return to the app and add another Luma and this time Luma is going to kind of tell us where to put the second Luma in this case it wants it on floor one and about the center of my house um, with this one we're only going to need the power adapter no need for Ethernet because this is just a, an extension of the mesh that we're building. So I found a spot in the house and we're swirling blue and um, then we went dark and then we went red. And I'm kind of glad it happened on this video. Don't panic, just means you need to move it a little closer to the first Luma. In my case I moved it about 10 feet towards the other Luma and we swirled blue and we went dark and at this point um, in the process, Luma's starting up and eventually we went green. And uh, that's what this was representative of. And then we add the third Luma. Again, it wants uh, center of the house but floor two this time because I have a two-story home. So uh, we bring the power adapter with us and I brought it upstairs, placed it about the center of the home and powered it up. So this one's upstairs and we went through the same process. We went swirly blue to solid blue. Then we started the Wi-Fi and we went uh, to our blinking green here now. And then once we go dark at this point, all three Lumas have been set up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the app. Now this is the iOS version of the app and that's what I have. As you can see, a graphical representation of the mesh over the house using the three Lumas that I have shows you the uh, how many devices are connected right now it's just my own and it shows my broadband download and upload speed automatically 
Um, if you swipe this page uh, to the next one, you'll see a kind of a zoom in of each Luma. There's one in the bedroom, family room, and garage. And then when you tap on those, uh, you can get individual IP addresses of the different uh, access points uh, or the Lumas. So um, then you want to start adding people. Um, this is how you can restrict what people will see. It's based on their age. So you want to enter someone's name here, their age. Obviously, name is only required. Email is optional. Age is optional. But then you can set uh, what that person's restricted to. In this case, right now, it's unrestricted. But you can slide the slider around, and you can change that. So if we want to set me to PG-13, then I get PG-13 content, and that's it. I guess Luma has a unique way of uh, identifying sites and their content and their rating and whatnot. Um, so once you set your content rating for the person, then you can flip over to the devices. In this case, just my iPhone 5S is on there. And uh, once you see that, you flip over to assign. And then what you can do then is assign it to me. And that's how you assign all the devices to different people. Once uh, all the devices, as they uh, come onto the Wi-Fi, are, are assigned to different people, then the fun begins. Uh, you can pause the internet on your kids if they're bothering you, let's say. Um, any devices that are assigned to them would be paused at that point, which I think is, is awesome. Um, you can invite people to the guest Wi-Fi. It sends them a little text message or email. And then the final option is to add uh, another Luma. Maybe you have a humongous house and you need four, five, six, however many you need. Uh, you can add another one uh, from this control menu. Let's talk about pause internet. The way this works is anyone in your people list, their internet will be paused when you pause the internet. You can't select who's actually um, being paused and who's not. Uh, maybe that's going to be in a future version of Luma, but right now, it is all or nothing. So keep that in mind when you're building your people list. So you probably want to take yourself out and anyone else that you don't want to be affected by the internet being paused. So keep that in mind when you're setting this feature up. Let's look at the security panel now on the uh, Luma app. As you can see, I now have six devices on the network and zero concerns found at this point. Based on conversations I've seen with Dr. Paul Judge, who is a founder of Luma, one of the founders, Luma is constantly looking for hackers or violators trying to get into the network. And if, uh, if anything is found to have gotten in, that particular device is isolated away from the rest of the network and is only exposed back to the internet so it can receive vulnerability updates or perhaps a security patch. This is pretty reassuring. Uh, Dr. Paul Judge is an um, expert in network technologies and network security, so I feel we're in really good hands. I want to jump over and talk about my main reason for getting Luma, which was speed. I had no speed on my Wi-Fi, but now, as you can see here, I've got 92.8 megabits per second down and 60 megabits per second up. This is this is awesome. Um, I'm going to bring up the history uh, inside of this speed test app that I have and show you how pitiful my download and upload speeds were before. And this is across a variety of different things. I was using the, um, the AT&T U-verse Wi-Fi that's in the modem itself. Uh, I've had a different time capsules. I've had extreme uh, airports. And you can see here that the one at the top is, is the latest from Luma. The other ones below that is everything else I've tried. And it's just been awful. But now it's smoking and I have no dead spots in the house. And um, it's not a small house, it's not a massive house, but it's awesome. In addition to the speed concerns, there was also um, dead spots. Uh, would, if you're looking at this graphic, would be the left side of the house. Um, my, my main Luma's uh, on the bottom right. But then as you moved all the way to the left in the old scenario where I was using, um, you know, airports or time capsules, they just couldn't, couldn't get connection all the way out to the uh, far left side of the house. So now that problem is resolved. There is no dead spot that I've found yet. Um, so that's really good. That's, that's positive feedback for Luma. And um, 
I recommend it right now. It's just great.